Okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All things considered, that's actually really, really good. So, that army that was over here moved. I'm assuming they went through here. Yeah. I'm assuming that's them. And I see a somewhat larger army here. We can deal with that. We can deal with that, I think. So, we'll end turn again. Army moving. All is good. I'm just going to mute my mic for a moment while I sip my coffee. And apologies if that's uh, terribly loud. I've got a new Blue Yeti microphone, and I'm not sure how to take out the clicky sounds, because when I take out the clicky sounds with my test, when I did a test run through of it, it distorted my voice a bit, so you'll occasionally hear that little clicking sound, I'm sorry. But I figure for a good quality uh, recording, you know, you can make do with it. You can deal with a click every once in a while. It's not the worst thing in the world. So, Tarentum, you have finished your temple. You don't really have anything else money-making. Well, I guess you've got this. But I don't, uh, I don't really want to build too many farms. I guess we'll build one. Yeah, communal farming will be okay, I guess. If you build too many, Rome had this really, really annoying thing where Squalor was just, like, off the charts. You could not sustain population after a certain amount of time, and the population would just keep growing and growing and growing and growing and getting more angry. And it was, yeah, it, it was a spiral, it was not a fun thing at all. Not even once. Eretium. Yeah, you've got everything you need. Croton. Nah, we don't need phase two. You guys are all happy chappies. We will get you a minor temple of Jupiter, though. Syracuse has stables, enabling them to get phase two. So we'll get that. We'll get phase two before we get the Temple of Saturnus, I think. Roads there aren't so worries, uh, aren't so important. And the phase two auxilia adds to uh, law as well. Hence why I didn't have a problem with moving our temples back a bit. So that's all good. An alliance between the Iberians and the Illyrians has been announced, but I bet they won't do anything for each other. And I see ever larger Greek armies marching towards them. This, this, this could be bad, actually. This could be really, really bad. Maybe these guys fought them off. I don't know, I can't see. Queso, okay, so you are going to go towards here and case the joint. Oh. Balls. Yeah, that's sort of what I was afraid of, a little bit, is that the Egyptians have already seized Crete. So we can't seize it ourselves. Well, I guess we could. We could uh, insert spies and use assassins to destroy stuff. And I don't know that I'm willing to do that at the moment, though. I'll send a spy. I will do that. So let's go back to Syracuse. Can we make it? Yeah, it'll take you three turns to get there. Including this one. That's fair enough, though. That's fine. Are we making any money? Mm, not really, but we're not bleeding it, like, ridiculously. I don't mind having a little bit of a loss at the end of each turn. It's when it gets to about four or five grand a turn that you're bleeding, then you should be a little bit worried. But a little bit like that, because we're buying more things and working on construction projects is not a big deal. I sort of want to take this now. Yeah, I'm going to build a ram here. I'm torn. I don't know whether I want to assault both. I'll build a ram. And that way, at least, we've got the uh, tactical flexibility to decide whether we want to or not. Okay. Well, again, there's not really all that much that needs doing. Has this been taken? No, it's still a rebel. So we'll end turn again. And the Gauls are responding. It's who they attack, really. I think... They're going to try and take out Cassius Cornelius Lentulus. Not our lentil man. 
We could attack, but they're standing on a bridge, and bridge fights are... they are not fun. They really are not. So there's a ceasefire between Armenia and the Seleucids, not really relevant to us. Rome now has a dockyard, but I don't know if that's going to let them build... No, it's not going to let them build ships. That's irritating. Have you finished your learning yet? You should have. Yes, he has completed his final year. In that case, we will give you to a city with no governor. And you can hopefully increase how much money they make. Well done. Now you, Cornelius, how much are you through your teaching? You finished the first year of your student training. Okay. And Kona now has a big temple. Big temples are good. A shipwright. That's actually worth it, so we'll get that. I don't want to be banking too much money um, a turn, mainly because, again, this game has a few things once you get over 50k. It's a little bit difficult to keep your governors from getting bad traits. So what did you get? Who are you? Oh, you're a, you're a spy who's just hanging out. Your Honor. Nice. Um, I'm probably going to send you over with whoever Syracuse recruited then. And you have mathematician and a free man clerk. Okay, you'll be good at managing then. And where is Queso? There he is. Queso, get your ass back over here. Aye, aye. I'm glad you agree. Um, I'm going to move Spurious up this way just to see if we can track. Oh, that's a bad sign. That is actually a really, really bad sign. And you're under siege. And you are not. You are not. But it looks like... Yeah, Skodra fell, and it looks like everything was basically put into defending that one town. So I think we're going to have Greeks knocking at our door soon. That could be bad. I'm almost tempted to not bother trying for Pavatium and just leaving it as a sort of buffer zone between us and the, the Greeks, because I'm sure they'll get up here eventually. Huh. That... That is bad. Actually, that is really, really, really bad. Well. See, now I don't want to attack either of these places, because it's entirely possible that these armies will come and do the job for me. I am going to fill out his roster, though. Actually, no, I don't have to. He's got plenty of infantry. You have plenty of infantry? You do, but I'd feel safer with... No, oh, actually, nah. Nah, it's not important. Not overly important, anyway. Uh, we will move this army up here, and we can send reinforcements to either of these places. So it'll be a sort of tactical reserve, if you will. We've got some good infantry. We could even split them up equally and send half to each place. But for now, we're just going to enter and see how the goals roll. That's not a smart choice, you know. Hmm. I wasn't paying attention. I wonder if this was rebel a minute ago. An alliance between the Iberians and the Germans, and construction of stuff was done. So we've got an armor in Capua now, and Aretium has a minor shrine. Excellent, excellent. And these guys look like they're massing into a massive army. They have Cav. Alright, well, whoever they hit is going to be hard pressed. And I still don't know which person they're going to hit. But I do know I'm going to send him, as in Titus, two infantry units. He needs good infantry, as in good Roman infantry, to hold the line. The Allies and the Gauls are actually doing fairly well. They're like, they haven't broken or done anything particularly horrible in the battlefield, but, you know, I, I like to have a bit of a surety in my infantry numbers, because infantry is very important. You still haven't sent anything from this side. I'm 
thinking that maybe the reason they haven't sent anything is because they've got nothing to send. So if we could Blitzkrieg up here and here after taking these places, that would be awesome. Hmm. It's whether or not we can manage it, though. We're still turning a profit, which is good, and if we take these places, we'll be turning even more of a profit, so I'm okay with this state of affairs. Let us end turn again. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, hello! Alright, well, he's got parody in numbers, and Luko, the factionaire, is buggered if he can't hold. Okay. So he's got a few units of Cav, including Gallic Nobles. Nobles will be worrying. But we have a strong skirmish line. And he's got some... He's got some legit spearmen, though. Okay. But for the most part, he's got war bands. So assuming we can hold the line, we'll be alright. We'll channel our Captain Kirahi from uh, Mass Effect. Just be like, hold the line! Before this place, there was Pastum, and we held the line. Before Pastum, there was this other place, we held the line, and... What's his name? He, he took Syracuse too, didn't he? I think. I carry on my body many Blah. Carry on your body many great scars, honorably earned in battle. We know, you are a true Roman. Alright, so... Let us form up... Uh, infantry into solid blocks so we don't want to spread too wide for this one we have to spread wide by necessity unfortunately because otherwise they will just outflank us but we want to anchor our flank on here so we're going to leave our Italians hidden in the woods there we don't have any spearmen which is kind of irritating because they do have cavalry this time around. Cavalry is still dangerous if it is a lot weaker than uh, in vanilla room. It still packs a punch. We do have spearmen, though. We've got some hoplite mercenaries, which will be an absolute godsend, because we can place them here on our flank and protect it. The three deep line. I'm not... Well, they haven't got any missile units, but they do have cav, and I don't want to throw skirmishes out to dry. So I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to place all of our guys back here, turn them off skirmish mode, and we're just going to hold the line, essentially. Because I don't want to lose our advantage in missile troops to one stupid cavalry unit. Well, three. They've got a couple. And we'll just place our cav back here in the center and begin. The enemy have brought up more men. All right, but where are they? Okay, they're behind. They're way, way behind, and they don't actually have any better troops. They've just got one general unit. So you guys need to be ready to chuck pillar and spears. And that, my friends, is our goal. Right there. Now, what are you gonna do? Are you going to hit as heavy on the flank you think there is nothing? Possibly. In which case, it would be wise to move our cavalry down a little bit, so I'm going to adjust our cav to there. I don't want to fight them in the woods with cavalry. Doing that is a sure way to get your cavalry killed, but if I can convince them that there's a threat to this side, they might just go straight up the middle. And it looks like they are. Or are they? Oh, they're war crying. Okay. Now what are you doing? I don't know. I mean, they're reforming a line, but why? What have you got there? You've got war man. So light infantry. Light infantry that cannot stand up to my Italians. I shouldn't think. Alright, here they come. Where's their cav? That's what I'm worried about. Warband... Swordsman, Swordsman, Warband. Okay, the light cav is there. The heavy cav is over here? Yeah, there it is. Okay, heavy cav in the woods could indeed roll over our swordsman. But I'm going to hope 
that they won't. And the Gallic Slingers are firing, the Balerics are firing too. Good. We should be alright standing behind our line with these guys as long as the Cav does not break through this. Which they shouldn't be able to do, hopefully. So what's the situation look like over here? Actually quite good. This is our weaker flank in terms of defense. So that's actually fantastic. You guys are getting hurt, which is awesome. They're going to charge us in a second. This is going to hurt. Charge them. Alright, we have to hold. We have to hold. And this cavalry is doing what? Nothing in particular. We need to keep our cavalry back. Okay, we've broken them a little bit. That's perfect. Alright, their center is giving. Warband is broken. You guys need to be attacked. Stab them. We are going to take losses in this one. It's going to hurt like a bastard. But as long as we attack all along the line, it should be okay. Alright, good. They broke. They broke on this side. And you, attack them in the flank. You, keep attacking. Where's the cav? Where did it go? Did it go into the woods? It did, but it's not doing anything. Alright, for now we can forget about it. Cavalry is unimportant to this one. Hoplites doing the thing. Everybody's all good. Infantry is holding the line. Hold the line. You guys need to stop firing, I think, for now. I think they're hitting our own guys in an attempt to take out those other fellas. Right, Noble Cav is coming towards us. They're going to try and hit in the flank. Alright, that's the place to put our cavalry then. Don't want to run our cav into the woods. So, what I'm going to do instead is send all our infantry down there. And you attack them. Cavalry, go this way. And infantry assault that noble calf. You guys need to hit them. No, you need to hit them. Pretty please. God damn it. Alright. Got him. God be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Good. You guys need to take on that warlord. Toot that horn. Stardy, get in on this. Frinkapes, get in on this. Nice. Italians, help me out. He has a lot of heavy cav. We need to hit him hard. What are you doing? Oh, hit this guy. Alright, there we go. He's wavering. Wavering over the number of enemies near him. You know what? You guys. Oh, Jesus! Get in there. Before the skirmishes die. Okay, we got the general. Be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know that... The enemy army Alright, that's good. Flight. Pursue them and drop Hell no. them from the battlefield. Follow. Follow. We need to wipe these guys out once and for all. Alright, you need to follow this lot. Actually. Yeah, we're gonna let that cav unit get away. They're not enough of a threat to follow the infantry is a worrisome thing. Cavalry is not as powerful as it was in um, original Rome, as I've mentioned before. 
So taking out cavalry is not as much of a priority as taking out good infantry. Where's that red line? There. Yeah, we're not going to catch the majority of these guys. But we can try. So we lost 10% of our force and killed 83% of theirs. Plus, we're still running them down. So that number's only going to get higher. Just hurry up time for now. Seeing as there's not really much to do. Come on, hit them, hit them, get some of them. Alright, there we go. Good. That number's going to go up. Kill these guys. Damn it. Alright, well, kill them if you can. And kill them. Or don't. Yes, a heroic victory worthy of Roman arms. Okay, so we lost 300 men. Just about. Whereas we obliterated almost all of their troops. Did we get any of our cavalry back? Because I know we lost some of the Italians. No, but we can send them home for refit and retraining, and we did take out the general, which means that his general cav bodyguard is going to disband, which means we march straight in, take that city, and we can move our troops north. Victory! Victory! Alrighty, we don't need the money from exterminating, it's not really worth it, so we'll just take the 150 denarii. And now the question becomes whether or not this guy is going to attack here. He could. But he might also march down here. So we're going to keep the pressure up. We're going to move the spy out of here and into this town. Got a 40% chance of opening the gates. We're not going to take it even if we get it, but we are going to move our entire army up. Build a ram. They're understandably unhappy, but now they're cheerful again. Now what can you build? You can build a port, you can build phase 1 auxilia, I'm going to go with the port first and then roads. We don't really need the auxilia at the moment, but I will build it eventually, and we'll destroy this. We'll leave their shrines in place for now, because I think we can actually build over some of them. Minor Temple of Mars, yeah, looks like we can build over all of them except that one. So we'll do that eventually. Uh, we've got Plotilla, new family member, and we've built up Auxilia in Ariminum. Means we can get that. And I think I will also get him... Actually, no, we don't need him to have any more troops. He's got plenty. This fella, however, does need a few more. And we'll get him a unit of Prinkapes to stiffen the line. Okay, so they emptied Pavatium and... Try. God damn it. Open the scroll. Thank you. They emptied Pavatium, leaving behind basically a skeleton garrison so that they can move this fella out. He's old though, so he might well die. Let's investigate. He's a useless infantry commander. That's not good because he's commanding a lot of infantry. Yeah. Well, I assumed he was commanding a lot of infantry. Most of Gaul's warriors are infantry, after all. Their noble cav are worrying. Can we get some more mercenaries? No. He's completely mercenary mercenaried out. I suspect that's because he took them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's worrying. But I think we can hold this. I'm almost certain that if we take this, we can hold it. And if we can take Pavatium, that would just be splendid. Now, where are you, Admiral? There you are. You get on board. Hello. You don't have to sneak aboard. It's our ship, you idiot. Ready to sail! Oh, I thought I'd ordered up another spy from here. Evidently not. Maybe I ordered him from somewhere else. At any rate, sail back this way. So I want to take a look and see if we can uh, spy on their um, building 
sort of things they can get, or what Auxilia gives them. If we're lucky, we can do that, because uh, Auxilia does not change what you get from the place. Every faction has one, but it doesn't change the end result of what you get. Okay. So now my only real worry is this gentleman and where he decides to go. Because he might well decide that one of these cities looks like a good spot to take, but he'd have to siege it if so. Which means we could assault this place with our troops, kill this bastard, and then leave the garrison force while we turn back and take out him. Actually, is there a reason to retrain? No. Okay, we don't need to send anything back. This is a fairly substantial garrison. We could even borrow troops from here to launch a counter, I suppose, but I prefer not to. Yeah, I just generally prefer not to have to do that. Let us end turn again and see what happens. Hello, goals. What would you like? I would consider it if we accepted trade rights and no. And you gave us this one and this one. Oh, and this one. Don't let me forget that. That's, that's very important. We have nothing to offer in return. This is true, which is why I don't care. Oh, General. Oh, General. You should never have done that. That was foolish. I do like my defensive battles. So he's got a lot of cav in this one. He outnumbers us in cavalry. But we have spearmen to counter him. And we can just turtle up and defend. So let us continue. Fight that on the battle map. I should have quick saved. Because knowing my luck, it's going to crash. Okay, well. Fingers crossed it doesn't crash. It should remember the autosave, at least. If we're lucky. But if not, we just go back in time for a little bit. The battle is inevitable! But victory hangs in the balance! Do your duty as true Romans, and victory will be within our grasp! Hooray! Today we go into battle against the Gauls. Warriors both worthy and brave in equal measure. They stand alone! No. <laughs> I was hoping he'd give us something a little bit more colourful than that. Okay, so I'm glad we sent him a bit more infantry now, because now we can form a proper line. So I'll form you up. Hmm. I can't remember if they had any missile units or not. But at any rate, I'd rather not face them on a hill. So let's face them down on the plane. You gentlemen can do that. You gentlemen can do that. Defend this side. Now you can sit back here. Because there is absolutely no point in sending them forward as he has superior cavalry. Our cavalry will remain here. They're basically just going to be a rear guard and a pursuit force if necessary. Hopefully, we can manage that. So, our Italians will hold the side. The Gauls will stand behind them. And it's essentially the same plan as we had last time, just on a defensive uh, the will nature, basically. The enemy have brought more men to the fight. Okay. Well, we can see them. Uh, there's not really anything to do at the moment, but I think I might have lined up a little bit wrong. Oh, no. No, they'll probably hit the line. It'll just be how hard they hit that bit there. That's okay. We can work with this. So, speed up time. Let them get towards us. And their other cavalry, the reinforcements, are coming in directly at our spearmen. So, hopefully, if we're lucky, he'll run directly into spear points. Alright, there we go, we see them. Here they come. We'll just keep it at this speed until they're about to charge down the hill. Okay, here they come. You guys are on nothing? No, you need to fire at will. You guys are already firing at will, you guys are firing at will as well. So he's got some Gallic warbands, some swordsmen. He's got some slingers of his own this time, so we're going to take some casualties from missile fire. But overall, I think we can hold him. Well, I know we can hold him. We outnumber him two to one. But um, I think 
we can hold the line fairly effectively. 